what up y'all michael here today with a another video and you know i just wanted to know agree one of the bears uh by sunday you know but the only thing i have to get off my mind is that who is really the issue of the chicago bears i already know Half of my comment section or people I've already spoken to is, oh, because we have Matt Nagy as our head coach. No, no, no. He is a problem, but he's not from the problem. Some people will say Ryan Pace is the problem. He kind of is, but he's not the problem. It's the ownership ran by the McCaskies. So, let me get this straight, people. Kofi and Jonah, for where this historic uh, franchise, shouldn't we have at least, like, four, five Super Bowls? Ever since the Bears were, you know, founded and bought by George Hallis, they had a record of two Super Bowl appearances and a one-on-one -on -one record. And ever since George Hallis passed away and gave the team to Virginia, she has turned, not have turned this team around ever since, you know, she bought the team. She is only interested in keeping, you know, the CEOs and ownerships in the family. That's why George, uh, George McCaskey uh, is the is the chairman of the board, you know, he's the vice versa, he decides, you know, who he wants to hire, um, and then, like, his first hire was, like, Ted, like, I know people are gonna say, well, why do you criticize Virginia for that, she has no control, but she's in the meeting rooms with her chairman of the board or not, because she, she's in those rooms when they're, like, interviewing for, like, you know, head coaches or, like, GMs or shit. Like, out of the things that Virginia has done for this organization, has she really turned things around for this organization? No. How many quarterbacks have the Bears have gone through ever since she took over? From, I think it was when Jim McMahon was still our quarterback at the time. Um... Rex Grossman, Kyle Wharton, Jay Cutler, and Mitch Trubisky, uh, Andy Dalton, and uh, Nick Foles. And right now, we're down to like our 30 or 31st uh, year, um, year new quarterback. Everybody's saying, oh, Chicago uh, is where quarterbacks go to die. Um, not true, because the quarterbacks... You know, I could say, you know, we could shit talk Jay Cutler all we want, but he was arguably one of the best quarterbacks, you know, the Bears have ever had, and that's sad. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, going to brag about it because, you know, I know how bad Cutler was, but even like, if Jay Cutler is your best quarterback in franchise history, then that should determine you whether or not you should sell the team or not, Virginia. So, Virginia, or the past, you know, hired, what was his name? So some, 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 we, we hired a GM and we fired him after a 14 and 2 season. And then we fired Mike Dicka, which, Honestly, you know, the, we've been karma ever since. And we fired uh, Lovey Smith for a 10-6 season. Folks, I'm telling you this right now. The McCaskies do not know how to run a team right. They never have, and they probably never will. And things will change when we're waiting for the owner to, you know. It's, I've been, you know, in conversations, you know. Maybe things will change when... uh. Virginia McCaskey, you know, dies. No, it's going to go to her son, and her son's going to, 
you know, screw things over. And then when he dies, it's going to go to um, one of his sons. And then it's like a continuing cycle. So, you know, looking back at it, you know, if I ever had a time machine to go back in time and, you know, if I if there was one thing I ever told George Hallis, sell it to give it to somebody that actually gives a shit about football. Like people forget to understand, like my father told me when we were watching the Seahawks game, like, why do you give a shit? Your team's out of the playoffs. So why do you even give a shit? Because I'm that passionate, like. I grew, I been on, I hate to brag about it, but I've been on a team before. And there was once a time where my coach told me that if I have to curse you out in order to win, then then that, that's so, but if, yeah, that's how I'm passionate. If I have to curse out, you know, every single one, even though I know they can't hear me, but the thing is what I'm trying to tell you guys is that Virginia has been a huge problem for the Bears ever since she, you know, has on the team. And I know many people will probably, you know, defend her. But trust me, folks. Do you really think things will change for the Bears once we fire Matt Nagy? We're probably going to hire some, you know, someone from the Andy Reid tree or hire Ryan. Let's be for real. I'm not really the, like the biggest Ryan Day fan around here, but I don't want no college. I don't want no college, you know, coach that doesn't, I don't want another Urban Meyer, you know. When the Bears drafted Justin Fields, I, you know, I thought to myself, it wasn't fair to not give him a chance because it would be uh, not fair for me to, you know, not give him a chance you know, criticize, which I, I'm going to be criticized of a few fields, whether or not, you know, you know, I'm not going to be like those dumb delusional Bears fans thinking that, oh, he's going to be a top 10 quarterback, possibly an MVP candidate. Justin Fields has has his struggles. He holds on the ball for too long, you know, but there's some good things about Fields. You know, he has good uh, running mobilities. You know, he has a good uh, deep arm. You know, it's shouldn't it's shock me because, you know, he was he was known for that in college. But when we're talking, when college doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is when you get to the pros and do it against actual NFL defenses. Because college is not, you know, something to brag about. Because I've seen, you know, RG three pan out in college and then flunk in the NFL. I've seen. Um, uh, James Winston flunk. I've seen Mariota flunk. I, I've seen many quarterbacks that have done well in college just don't pan out well in the NFL. So that's how I saw Justin Fields. You know, he was probably going to be, you know, be hyped up to be, you know, I thought he was going to go to a team like Denver or possibly um, um, the Panthers, which I, I'm surprised. We were lucky to get Justin Fields, but. Looking back at it, we should have kept Trubisky. Eight and eight is better than uh whatever record we're about to have right now. And I'm gonna be brutally honest and nothing but be brutally honest with this team. The ownership is gonna stay where it is, even when Virginia passes away, and I'm still gonna keep criticizing her because she doesn't seem willing to uh, change. So, see, I know everyone's saying I have a double shit, but that's actually my throat. If you, uh, if you look, it's actually my throat. Yeah, people want to say that this is a double chin. No, look it up. Look, uh, it's not a, it's not a double chin. Look. Yeah, people like to say that I have a double chin. It's not actually true. I just have a big, big ass head, but. I'm gonna, you know, maybe we'll win against the Giants. No, no, no. It's like we'll win against the Giants and then probably lose to the Vikings because the Vikings are going to fight for a playoff berth. So that's, um, I've pictured this as a six month season and 
looks like people were right. We expect us to win six games, but just to clarify, this is not a double chin, though. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I hope you all having a wonderful day. Um, I'm on vacation, but this is my last day. I will be, I'm the, mm, I'll probably be on, you know, I will be live streaming, you know, the Giants game and, um, debating whether or not if, um, having, you know, if I want to do, you know, um, um, doing the Super Bowl reacts, but I will be going live for the 31st to live stream the Bulls and, uh, Pacers game, so I'm just gonna go through that, and depending whether or not this week, I might be on uh, Fizz Vegas' channel if he lets me, but if not, it is what it is, so thank you for watching, as always, bear down.